Hey guys, this is Nelson's Day Life, and in this YouTube video, I'm gonna do a dog food review on Prenup Pro Plan slash Prenup Pro Plan Sports, since that's what I feed my dog. You guys, the pros and cons about it. So before I get into this video, um, news about the channel, I'm just going to upload hopefully just Mondays and Fridays. It's been difficult for me to upload. I'll just try to be consistent, like I said in the last video. It's just I plan on uploading every Monday and Friday, so this is going to get uploaded today, since today's Monday. But anyways, let's get on to the video. So my experiences with Prenup Pro Plan. So well, I use Prenup Pro Plan Sport. It's a it's like a 50 pound bag that you can see in stores. It's like a purple bag. So my experience is that it's a good dog food brand. No, like nothing has bad happened ever happened to my dogs, but they, it seems like my dogs have more energy when they eat it. And with the Prina Pro Plan Sport, I feed my dogs less since it has like more calories. I, uh, I support Prina Pro Plan. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Um, it's a good dog food brand. It's not like Blue Buffalo where it made every body's dog vomit and sick and had to go to the vet out of five stars i give it four out of five stars i don't i give it four not five out of five because you don't know like what else they put into these dog foods what if it's like changes your dog's long-term health which we don't know about so i'm doing it a little different this time with the dog food review so i'm going to go on this um website called dog food advisor where basically they rank the dog foods. Guys, look, here's the Pro, Prina Pro Plan dog food review. This is the website, Dog Food Advisor. Um, I trust this website because you see all the dog foods, like pedigree, what else? Oroys, like, you know, the bad dog foods are on this website and they only have like one star, so. It's the regular Prina Pro Plan bag. Um, this, I used to use this bag, but I use a sport bag. So let's see what it says about this bag. This website, Pr Dog Food Advisor, gives the Prina Pro Plan, the adult dog food, four out of five stars, which is what I gave it. So this is the estimated dry matter uh, nutrient contest. This was 30 protein, 18 fat, and 40 four carbs those are the ingredients chicken rice whole grain wheat um i think that might be a oh look that night's controversial item i knew it i was about to, i was about to say that that whole grain wheat is a bad item i heard basically the red stuff is controversial items what i like about this website it basically goes uh, in detail about one by one uh dog food ingredients so this is like the first ingredient in this dog food is chicken and it says after cooking most of the moisture is lost reducing the meat content to just a fraction of its original weight after processing this item will probably account for a small part of the total content of finished product you know and it basically goes in order but let's read the third ingredient uh, remember how in the red right whereas like oh, it's probably like a useless product which it really is third ingredient is wheat like corn wheat is an inexpensive controversial cereal gra grain and aside from its energy content this green is only made of the modest neutral nutrition value to a dog so it doesn't really benefit your dog and you see for this reason we do not consider a wheat preferred component in any dog food the next ingredient ingredient is soybean meal by a byproduct of soybean oil oil produce production more commonly found in farm animal needs although soybean meal contains 48 percent protein this ingredient will be expected to have a lower biological amount value than meat biological value my bad you guys hey guys this is the bag i use exactly the prina pro plant sport dog food review and has four stars too so it says that the estimated dry matter content nutrition content is 34 uh, 34 protein 23 fat and 35 carbs and oh you guys that's really bad right here i didn't know this you guys i don't really read the ingredients you guys so don't judge me off that but that's already a bad sign so with dog food brands what they, what they usually do is the top ingredient is what they use the most and then all the way to the bottom is what they use the least so this is really bad that it's the second in the list and we already read about this so that's um kind of disappointing i didn't even know that myself you guys in my opinion this is still a good dog food brand because if you if you read like a lot of dog food brands like Han, i'm gonna show you guys a bad dog food brand right now all right you guys look this is the worst dog food brand i think on the planet um pedigree dog food review one star and you guys just look how much red there is you guys just just so horrible. I will do a review about this, but you know, already basically tell you guys don't don't ever get this food, you guys. Just don't ever get this food. So, you guys, I didn't even know about this website. Um, on the on the website, there's reviews. So, um, let's see this. It says uh, four dogs, right? That's what the user's name. It says Pro Plan Toy Breed Save My Poodle's Life. I lost three dogs to DCM. Only change I made for my poodle was the Pro Plan. That's it. In one year, another recheck of his heart revealed that he had made a complete recovery, normal heart, and no more signs of DCM. Please do not get caught up in the marketing emotions of five star foods. Prina has helped my poodle uh, recover and is healthy and active, gorgeous coat, and not one problem with him whatsoever. So basically, for this person, uh, Four Dogs, the user, said that they recommend Prina Pro Plan. So, if there's ever been recalls on the dog food, so has Prina ever been recalling? And it says yes. In late 2019, March, the company issued a limited recall of one of its Muse Cat food varieties. Also, in March 20, 2016, a few varieties of ProPlan wet dog food sold in tubs were recalled because of the inadequate vitamin and mineral levels. Also, in the summer, summer of 2013, Prina voluntarily recalled a batch of Prina 1 dog food for suspected salmonella. I can't say that word, contamination. You guys just do, that, do your guys' own research, right? Because, you know, like with my dogs... They don't like blue buffalo and with my dogs the Purina, I believe it's it's a good dog food. There's obviously been 
one, two, three, four, five, it's like six recalls in a span of what is 2021 now in 10 years so you don't research but um we're gonna go on to the re other reviews but i wanted to show you guys that in case you know anybody was interested as uh, recalls are bad so if a company has bad like multiple recalls like that it could mean your dog is probably there's something wrong with the dog food company but you know the way prina has been with me for the past um eight months it's been good you guys for my dogs especially so you i've switched my nine and a half year old male hound uh, they have a sensitive skin and stomach um like dog food right so basically pretend if your dog has like a sensitive stomach or like you know sensitive skin um prina has like a specific uh, type of dog food for that so basically on this review they basically said that they loved the prina pro plan so my three old husky would just switch to over to prina pro plan last week she has regular stool when we had her and now it's just loose stool a lot of gas has anyone had this issue with transitioning over so this is probably just like something of transitioning over from an old dog food to the new one so uh, let's see the comment below how it could take one day to six weeks to start re reacting to an ingredient so do you see you guys so i kind of knew about that let's read this review and let's see what it says i switched to perina pro plan and improvement in my puppy was immediate and i mean immediate after the first first bowl she went from screaming every minute howling all day to taking a four-hour nap on the floor next to her bowl now basically i'm not going to continue reading so basically he says that he loves uh, perina so, pit love um says my experience of pro Pro plan mirrors you. I saw amazing improvements in my allergic pit bull with just a few days. Must switch to focus, sensitive skin, and stomach. So you guys, you see another good review. So I'm trying to find like a bad review to see like other people's. Actually, I mean maybe the loose stool was one like a bad review. I'm so glad this food is working well for my dog. A lot of people like this dog food, you guys. So you guys, this is another food review. So um, the second bag. Look, so basically I read it and he says that his dog food had um, sword and larvae. So like basically like bugs inside the dog food. And he says he's not gonna end up buying this dog food. All you guys gotta do is just message the company and I'm pretty sure they'll fix it for you guys. Uh, my Prina Pro Plan, right? I, I, well, it's kind of my fault. I left the bag open, right? And then mold started developing, right? I love the company, you guys. This is the reason why too, I love that company. They sent me a free dog food coupon. Appreciate Prina Pro Plan and that company, you guys. So um, this video is not gonna be that long, you guys, cause I don't really see anything bad with this dog food company. You know, there's obviously others that are going to disagree with me. You know, that's how life is. You know, I give this dog food review a four out of five stars and my next dog food review is going to be Bully Max, you guys. So pretty sure everybody's have heard about Bully Max. That female dog. So let's see if it, they actually like turn it into like a buff, buff ass dog. So it's the end of the video, guys. You know, I don't really have nothing else to show you guys, but this dog food is actually pretty good. So there's actually some controversial um, ingredients, you know, but what can you do about it? You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of these dog food companies have like at least one controversial ingredient. But yeah, it's the end of the video and I'm gonna try to upload every Monday and Friday and thank you for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys, I just read about Bully Max and it only has three controversial ingredients. That's crazy. So this is for sure the end of the video, guys. Bye.